light now. When I was four years old, we went to South France for holidays. The sunshine light was bright and I started to shout and to cry because my shadow was copying every single thing I did <laughs> and won't stop, even though I told him. <laughs> Today I wonder how shadows in all their different shapes are created and who makes them appear. When I went to school, the teachers told us with excitement about the Enlightenment and all the great German Enlightenment philosophers who started to say, it is not God who makes our destiny. We as humans are free to decide who we are and what we become. Today, I wonder how these philosophers could at the same time give big theoretical explanations, right in the sense of all people are human, but some are not. <laughs> <laughs> to explain why people with a lighter skin were allowed to do what they did at the time to people with a darker skin. When I spent a few months in South America, I read a story. It is about a raven who always asks God to give him something to play with. God gives him the moon, the stars, and finally a box. In this box is something which should not come out because it will cause harm. Some people are laughing at the raven. He threatened them with the box. They don't stop. The raven breaks the box and its slide, which is in there. Today, I wonder if the glorification of light may be some originally European, Western, slightly Christian postcolonial thing. <laughs> I go out and stay outside, watch the play of light. Things and people seem clear, obvious, concrete. And I feel strong as long as the light shines bright on me. My shadow seems small next to me. But on a sudden, he seems to grow. While the light turns, shines from another side. Some shadows are wide. I feel shaded by lights who let people appear in a variety of angles. Not all people in all angles, but each one in another one. Some outshade others. Some carrying their dark side in form of a shadow before themselves. Others with shadows behind, small and unnoticed, as if spotlights decide who appears in unfavorable light and at which light condition do I have to be, to be seen as I do see me. I want to break the light, steal its pretended clarity. Who is it? who turns the light on, or off, or over, around, down. The light turns off, and I find myself in the darkness. I don't see anything clearly, I just can listen carefully, and everything around me seems open to a variety of interpretations. I may be in darkness, but not in thoughts. I listen to my surrounding equally not able to see me. And I listen to you to get who you are. <laughs>